We here at the Gurdon Institute are part of the University of Cambridge and we focus on fundamental research. But over the course of our studies, we often realise that what we're doing is providing new insights into human biology that has, for example, translational applications. So over the last 20 years or so, the Gurdon Institute has given rise to around a dozen startup companies which have gone forth, in some cases actually generating new medicines which are extending people's lives. I'm very excited about Adrestia. What Adrestia is doing is systemizing our understanding of human disease biology. So the goal is to understand disease imbalances and find ways, pharmacological ways, to rebalance them and thereby regain health. I've been interacting with pharma companies for a while. We had a great interaction with GlaxoSmithKline. We worked with them and developed a drug that is now in the clinic, but it took a long time and it was very arduous to get going. And therefore I decided to give myself the job to lower those barriers for the University of Cambridge. The Research Institute is going to be a new paradigm for a research institute at the University of Cambridge, where you have academics and pharma companies working together side by side. Over the last three years we've been building the foundations to the Milner, so we've been creating a network of over 74 organisations and we have 19 projects in 10 departments throughout the university. And what we want to do now is create our own drug discovery pipeline. We're going to move to the biomedical campus, be in the heart of the life sciences community and have academics, industry scientists, companies all working side by side at the bench towards the same vision to get drugs to patients. The computational biology and the artificial intelligence is an integral part of the Miller Institute. This is necessary to using more so-called big data in drug discovery area. And this is very important that if we identify something from the big data, and then we can feed into our own Miller drug discovery pipeline. And then I think this pipeline would end up with something very noble therapeutic target. We're here and uh, very excited to be here and be using our space. And we've already got scientists in here, so we have the AstraZeneca Cancer Research UK Functional Genomics Centre. Over the next 12 months we'll be filling up this space. We'll have in here new startup companies, we'll have other academic scientists doing their research and we just imagine a really vibrant environment. Everyone will be together bumping into each other, so lots of ideas transferred and uh, scientific discussion going on. The Garden has been a great place to work and still is. Uh, they've been very supportive. Uh, my lab is going to still be at the Garden and I do love this place so I'm not leaving.